Oh my god. Oh. They go through a ton of light bulbs in this movie. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara and this is Tara Tunes In. Today I'm going to be watching a movie called The Green Mile. Uh, I think a lot of people have seen this one. It's a lot of people's favorite movie and I've never seen it. I've always kind of wanted to put it on and see what it's about. The only thing I know about The Green Mile is that it has Tom Hanks in it and that it takes place in a prison or is about a prison, but that's all I know. This one was suggested to me by Ray. Ray is a top tier patron on my Patreon page. As a top tier patron, he gets to select two movies for me to watch on my channel. So this was his first selection, The Green Mile, and I'm really excited to put it on and see what it's all about. So thank you to Ray for suggesting this one, and thank you guys so much for being here to tune in with me. Ray also gave me a bonus challenge, and that was to see if I could make it through this movie without wiping away my tears when I cry. So I guess that means this is not a comedy, although I sometimes cry at comedy but I'm gonna do my best to try not to wipe away the tears if they start to flow and we'll see how I do. I'm, I may just fail, but we will see. So if you're wondering why I'm not using the tissues, that is why I'm gonna give it my best shot. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's tune in. They're searching for someone. Oh, they've got the dogs. Who's this fella? Good morning, Estelle. It's better. That's better. <laughs> morning, Mr. Edgecombe. Charming. Two pieces of dry toast extra things. Same as always. <laughs> he likes Especially what he likes. Long walks. What do you do up in those hills? That's an awfully big hill for someone that old to be climbing. I guess he's in better shape than I thought. Hmm. Well, it's Fred Astaire. Oh, this here is worth a look. Classic. Oh, he looks so sad. Oh no. I think he's got a very sad story to tell. I ever tell you that I was a prison guard during the Depression? That I was in charge of death row? That I supervised all the executions? Oh, that's tough. Death row was called the last mile. We called ours the green mile. The floor was the color of faded limes. Oh, so this is a movie about death oh, row in the Great Depression. 1935 takes the prize. That year, I had the worst urinary infection of my life. <laughs> Aww. It was also the year of John Coffey and the two dead girls. Oh no, two dead girls. <laughs> oh, it's a very, very heavy man. You might want to reconsider getting in the cell with this guy. Can't be bigger than you. Dead man! Dead man walking! Why is he saying that? Dead man walking here! Is that necessary? Dead man! It's awfully First annoying. Thing. Enough. That's right. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Just completely intimidated by his size. Can you talk? Yes, I suppose. Move your ass. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, <laughs> he had to duck. He's so, so big. Why don't you just go? I don't care where you go, Percy. This moment's not here at this very moment. Oh! <laughs> Wipe that grin off your shit poke face, didn't I? God damn it, Percy. Get the hell off my block. I agree. Uh -huh. Go away. Get out of here, squeaker shoe. He has a squeaky shoe. Your name is John Coffey. Like to drink. Mm -hmm. Only not spelled the same. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Because I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. Aww. It's a strange play. I don't know what he did though. I shouldn't probably start feeling bad for him. Pretty bright, coming here all night long. That's surprising though that a big guy like that would be afraid. Oh. I like that he treats them with respect instead of like the guy Percy who was just a big jerk. I 
couldn't help it, boss. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Oh, what happened? Oh. The girls are gone! Oh, no, 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 no. Papa, look! Daddy's blood! Oh, God, please! So this is no, where the search from the beginning girls. comes in. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I, I have no idea what happened, but this is a bad, bad scene. He's very upset, whatever happened. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. I tried to take it back. You under arrest for murder. Yeah, it's not looking good. How's that pretty gal of yours? Not so well at all. Taking over to Vicksburg for some tests. It's something they can see on the x-ray. Maybe it's something they can fix. Maybe. I had an angry call from the state capitol about 20 minutes ago. True you ordered Poissy Wetmore off the block? It is. Like it or not, the wife of the governor of this state has only one nephew. And his name happens to uh, be Poissy Wetmore. That the guy is, is somebody important's like nephew, a the governor's nephew. Room sissy. A man is mean and careless and stupid, and it's a bad combination in a place like this. I agree. Sooner or later, he's gonna get somebody hurt or worse. Stick with it, Paul. May not be much longer. Poissy has an application in a Briar Ridge. The mental hospital. Better pay. Then why that is he still good. here? I think he just wants to see one cook up close. Probably. Seems like he'll a get sick his individual. Then, won't he? Maybe then he'll be satisfied and move on. You'll keep the peace. <sighs> That's a lot to ask. He's got to tolerate this kid because he's somebody's nephew. Give Melinda my love, okay? Show that x-ray turned out to be nothing at all. That's a good friend. Worried about Melinda and Hal? Is that what's got you up? He's got such a stressful job. You got a new inmate today. Do I want to know what he did? Mm-mm. I guess he's just horrified by what he read in that report. Well, he... Yeah? My new guy. He's right there. A new guard. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, brutal, no. I just want to see you well to do in the interest of science life. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. I like the music during this. It's so cute. <laughs> this is funny. They're marching up there like a united front. Oh no, there's so much stuff in there. They're gonna empty that whole room and they're not gonna find him. <laughs> you let him get past you. No, I did not. That's the last we'll see of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh no, is he gonna kill it right away? Seems like the type. Come on. Oh my god! What a savage! Look at him! He's just making all kinds of ruckus over a mouse. Yeah, that's right. It's just a little mouse. Relax. <laughs> it's not what you think. Poissy met your mouse. Percy? You want to think about what you were doing just now? I was trying to get the mouse. Are you blind? You're also <laughs> scared the living crap out of me. Such insubordination. Bill. Not to mention the inmates. So what? They're under enough strain as it is. Men under strain can snap. That's yeah. very good advice. You can kiss my ass. Oh, he's so no, entitled. What a it. Go on, little dipshit. You be on the bread lines before the week is out. You ever threaten a man on this block again, we all gonna have a go. Job be damned. Your daughter and her family are here. Mm -hmm. Let's move. I want at least two rehearsals before he gets back. Sit down, rehearsal now. Everybody settle. Uh, box, he is in forward. everything, I think. Walk in the mile, walk in the mile, walk in the green mile. Sitting down now. What do I do? Watch and learn. Roll on one. Roll on one means I turn the generator up full. You have anything to say before your sentence is carried out? Yeah, I'm gonna fried chicken dinner with gravy on the taters. 
and I want to shit in your hat. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Sorry, boss. We'll be doing this for real tomorrow night. I don't want anybody remembering some stupid joke like that getting going again. That's a good point. Let's keep going. Soak the sponge. I'm putting on my cap. Why is he putting that sponge on his head? Conducts electricity directly to the brain, fast like a bullet. You don't ever throw the switch on a man without that. God have mercy on your soul. I guess it's pretty Roll important to do this dry run just so that everything goes smoothly on the real thing. The electric chair is just so... To me, it seems incredibly barbaric. <laughs> He's taunting them. You think if a man sincerely repents on what he'd done wrong, he might get to go back to the time that was happiest for him. Would that be what heaven's like? I just about believe that very thing. God have mercy on your soul. I guess at this time, rehabilitation was not a focus. It was just punish and kill. Just... Roll on, two. <laughs> what? It didn't work? Him? <sighs> Adios, Chief. Drop us a card from hell. Let's know if it's this hot. guy needs to get fired. He's so disrespectful. He's paid what he owed. Yeah, get the hell He's out of here. square with the house again. So keep a goddamn hands off him. That's right. That needed to be said for sure. Why don't you just move on? Take that job at Rye Ridge. It sounds to me like a pretty good job. I might just take it too. As soon as you put me out front, the next execution. He was so exactly right. All he wants to do Seeing is... Seeing a man die. Now that's not enough. You gotta be close to someone. smell his nuts cook. Just power. He just wants and all you know that what? power. And if I say no? Well, I might just stick around for good. No. Boss. That's a very tough decision. You are not going to believe this. What? <laughs> oh. I don't dim mouths. <laughs> He's a smart Mr. little mouse. Lord, Mr. Jingles. Wanna see what else he can do? Is he gonna <gasps> Oh hmm. He's really cute mouse. He a circus mouse. Mr. Jangles. <laughs> you play fish? You play fish again? Looks like you find yourself a new friend there, Dale. Don't hate him. Mr. Jingles. Dale's been asking for a box. Might keep it for a pet. What do you think? You know what? We ought to find a cigar box, get some cotton batting from the dispensary to line up. This with. little dipshit of a man real nice. is sucking up so that the captain will put him up front in the next execution. Al, you want to see me? You got a new prisoner coming in here tomorrow. Problem child. Been causing all kinds of trouble. Kill three people and hold up. One of them a pregnant woman. Ah. <sighs> He's not a good guy. Al. Is it his wife? Is she okay? It's a tumor, Paul. Ah. Uh, a brain tumor. Awful. The size of a lemon, they said. The size of a lemon? It's huge. Deep inside, where they can't operate. I haven't told her. I can't think how to tell my wife. <sighs> She's where going does to he die. have to tell her? I wish the doctor would have told her. Oh, that's awful. You really should see a doctor. Oh my gosh, it's so far. Oh no, is he okay? See Dr. Bishop. Oh yeah, about time. It's scary. Boy is dope to the gills. I need to see you down here, boss. You can hardly walk. Just now, John Coffee. Oh my god, go to the doctor. Why? Oh, he's faking this. Oh no, right in his painful parts. Oh, <laughs> 
First, do something, coward. Absolutely walk over there and hit him. He's useless. Where do you come from? Choked. Yeah, he's not okay now. He totally got need in the parts. Well, what about you? You're about ready to collapse. Uh, go to the doctor. Till you all come back. Go on. Go. Oh no. He was trying to be so tough. Well, I need to see you down here. <laughs> it's not a good time, John Coffee. This is not a good time. <laughs> John Coffee. I need to talk to you. Closer. What do you want, John Coffey? Just to help. What? What's he doing? What's he doing? He said help, but this looks dangerous. What are you doing? John Coffey? What? What in the hell? I have no idea what's happening. What is happening? What? What the freak is that? Like little bugs? I'm trying to put this together. He grabbed his parts, a light bulb smashed, and bugs flew out of his mouth and disappeared. What did you just do to me? I just took it back, so. What? Did he help him? He looks better. He was not falling down. Did John Coffey just cure him by sucking the illness out of him and then spitting it out of his mouth in the form of bugs? I'm very confused because it's just kind of switched genres on me, but that's very interesting. You are sure you ought to do this? What's he gonna do? I'm not sure what I'm sure of. I think he's gone to investigate John Coffey. He has to. I would. I would absolutely go find out what the heck that was. Where did he come from? What's the real story? Because a healer wouldn't probably murder two little girls. And actually, when he said he was helping, he said, I took it back. And when he got into the cell when they first met, he said, I, I tried to take it back, didn't he? Or something like that? These two were together in Apollo 13 as well. Hmm. I've wondered if he ever did anything like that before. Can't be that hard to trace. Leave me. Tried. Couldn't find anything on him. Dropped out of the sky. Did he? Is he like an angel? Impression. He came up here to see if I think he did it at all. Do you? Do you? Well, in many ways, a good mongrel dog is like your negro. You just oh, know it. Oh God. Hey, look, come here for a second. He still has the one good eye. Dog attacked my boy for no reason. It's he not the mind. same thing, but Maybe I mean, it is horrible before. what happened to the little girl. Is what I mean. He's not guilty before. because he's black. That's not a thing. Coffee guilty? Yes, he is. Don't I don't know if he no is. Back. I'm really, really questioning it. I could be wrong, though. I'll be really disappointed if it turns out to be that he's guilty, but definitely worth asking the questions. Smelling me some cornbread. I love cornbread. Oh my gosh, it's so good. She wanted to thank you. Hmm. <laughs> it's nice. What about me? Don't you hold that on me. Oh. That's the last one. I did not like him. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah! What a Good friggin' shot, crazy <laughs> guy! Put him in hey, that room. Hey, be careful with that. That's fragile. Now we'll go man to man. <laughs> Piss on me. <laughs> yeah! Yes, yes! Get him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll learn my lesson. I'll be good. <laughs> Some people never learn. 
Yeah, I'll grab a few things. Important folks heard about your mouse. Well, see him phone. All right, let's move briskly, folks. There's not much time. Oh. He's probably gonna die. Edouard Delacroix, God have mercy on your soul. Roll on two. That's set. Very good. Very professional. Oh, I love Mr. James. Well, that's just aces. You done good, old time. It's gonna be so insensitive. We're happy for it. you. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Oh. Oh. Why? Why does he have to oh. mess with people? Oh, see your shit. Come on now. I was just having. Ah! 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 Oh, Jeez. God. Warden. I gotta say, I don't hate it. Warden. Oh, 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 baby. I, think I mean, that's scary, but he's a blubbering idiot. I don't like either of these guys. <laughs> Look, yeah. hey, don't piss his pants. <laughs> if he was a nice guy, I'd feel terrible for him right now, but he acts like Damn. such a jerk. You shut up. You just keep on laughing. Mr. Jango, he'd be scared to live out in the big woods. How about Mouseville? Mouseville? Tours are directing down to Florida. It's just down the road a piece. This is very nice of them. <laughs> Inside the tent, they got this uh, mouse city made out of old boxes and toilet paper rolls, little windows so you can look in. Mouseville. It sounds magical. Oh, I think it's all Excitement. a big fat lie, but sweet. Yeah, there's mice that swing on trapeze. Yeah, that's the blade for Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> no! No! Oh my god, all that. Is it the guy? It has to be the friggin' guy. They put all that effort into making him feel better about the mouse. Well, I knew I'd get him sooner or later. I really want to shake that guy. Mm. Give him to me. Can he, can he heal him? Can he do it? Please do it. I really think he was Please trying to save those girls. He had to be. Help him. He cares about Please, Johnny, help saving things. They've all seen it now. They're all gonna believe. Oh my god, he's perfectly fine. Mr. Jangles. What did you do? Yeah, it's I magic or something. Build a mouse. You're just a mouse. Mouse is fine. You know better at mouse killing than you are at knowing anything else around here. <laughs> what kind of game is this? See for yourself. Still has that one squeaky shoe. Hey, just who the hell you think you are? Uh -huh. ah! Ah! Who do you think ah! you are, sir? With the people you work with, person. But not for long. I put you out front. You put in that transfer. That's right. That's the deal. Don't let nothing happen to Mr. Jango, okay? Aww. Let John Coffee watch him. Yeah. Just for Still don't mind. You going to take him to Florida to that mouth view? We'll do it together, most likely. Maybe take a little vacation time. You're a good man, boss. I agree. If you're interested in watching my full-length reactions, I invite you to head over to my Patreon page. There's lots of exclusive content over there, early access, I do a movie reaction journal over there, uh, you can participate in polls, and even make special requests for reactions you want to see me do on my channel. So if you want to get more involved and help support the channel, then head over there and check it out. And if you want to just keep tuning in with me here on YouTube, then that is awesome, and I am happy to have you here. Again, I don't know what he did. I don't know, yeah, but... It's all right. It still feels tragic. Roll on one. Edouard Delacroix, you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? What a horrible turn of events that that's the last voice he's gonna hear. That jerk. I'm sorry for what I do. God have mercy on me. Don't forget about my mouthfeel. Hey. Oh no, don't There's no tell such him. place. Oh, don't. That's just a fairy tale these guys told you to keep you quiet. Why? All that effort to know. make him feel Fate. comfort. What a freaking 
friggin' horrible person. <sighs> this guy is a son of a bitch. Are you friggin' kidding me? Oh god. Edouard Delacroix, God have mercy on your soul. Roll on two. Sponge is dry. What an absolute monster. Is he feeling it? Oh, is he feeling it all? Oh no, John Coffey. That's not fair. Did this? You watch, son of a bitch. You do it. Gosh, that was just <sighs> really hard to watch. I didn't know the sponge was supposed to be wet. <laughs> Absolute bull crap. What in the blue f was that? <laughs> An execution. A successful one. How in the name of Christ can you call that a success? Edouard Delacroix dead. is dead. Percy fucked up, Hal. Pure and simple. He has to protect him so leave. that he'll leave. Let's put an end to Transfer request to Briar Ridge tomorrow. Is that right, Percy? Yeah. I wonder if he'll f tell him what he felt. You okay? I can feel it from here. You could hear it. He the lucky one. Dale the lucky one. Awful time now, boss. Yeah. He basically got executed, but he didn't get to die after. He just has to live with all that pain. I'm really quite confused about what or who John Coffey is. But I'm not sure that I'm supposed to think too much into it. I don't know that I need to define him. Hey, Harry, you want some potatoes? Come on, man. Y'all saw what he did to the map. He How could you not talk about it? It's the craziest thing. He put his hands on me. He took my bladder infection away. You're thinking about Melinda. Can he do I it? There might be a chance. Hold on. Would now. they bring her yeah. in there, or would Talking he let him leave? Dog. Sneak a sick woman into a sail block? Oh, no, 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 no. How would never stand for that? So you're talking about taking him Coffee out. To her. He's big. Can they handle him? That's more just our I mean, jaws. Pull. Potentially, if anything were to go wrong. But let's not discuss this as if we're thinking of doing it. Maybe you should try, though. Yeah, John Coffey is a murderer. We don't what know. if he escapes? We don't know if he's a murderer. I don't think he did it at all. Oh, he really said it right out loud like see. that. The man is on death row for the crime. If he tried anything, anything at all, we'd have to take him down. He's on death row anyway. Do it for Hal. Anybody wants out, now's the time. I'd like to take a ride. I guess we're all in. Oh, what about this guy? What is this? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Let's see this happen, please. What are you doing? Just lean into it, man. Just let it happen. Oh. <laughs> Busted. Yeah, he deserves this for sure. Take your pamphlet. You don't have arms. One more time. Here we go. We're busting out John Coffee. I'll take y'all a few hours for you back. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh, what's happening? You bad man. That's right, nigger. Bad as you want. I hate that word. What's wrong? What's wrong? Can he see? Like how bad a dude that guy is? 
Oh god, oh let go, let go. Break that bond. He's like showing him all of his horrible, horrible thoughts. Yeah, man. Man. He saw some shit. Let's go, go, go. John, you know where we're taking you tonight? Hip a lady? That's right. How does he know things? But how do you know? That's right. Don't know. I don't know much of anything. Who the hell goes there at 2.30 in the goddamn Ow. morning? It's, it's us. It's, it's Paul and Brutal. It's us. Jesus. John Coffee. Paul. Don't Ow. shoot him. You stay right where you are. Relax. Now take it easy. Don't now shoot don't shoot him. Wait. Hal, put the gun down. Hal. Hal. Don't shoot him. We are here to help. Help what? You just gonna help you. Gonna have to trust and Melinda. Me. Oh, she looks terrible. Talk coffee, man. Like to drink. Hmm. <laughs> you be still now. You be so quiet. So still. I've got chills. I don't know if this is gonna kill him, but I think that it is, and that he knows it, and he's still doing it. And that's sad. Oh my. Knock the whole house down. Ah, oh. she's beautiful. She looks perfect. Spit it out, John Coffee. Is he not gonna do it? He sucked out of her. He's choking on it. She's fine. That's insane. We were going. Doesn't even remember anything. Yes. She doesn't have to remember any of that pain. There was no tumor. He took it all. She never even asked to know. John, can you stand up, turn around, see this lady. <coughs> I don't want him to die. What's your name? John Coffee, ma'am. Like the drink, only not spilt the same. <laughs> no, ma'am. Not spilt the same at all. <coughs> away <laughs> shoot it was tickling my cheek oh well <coughs> was it like the mouse was it it was exactly like the mouse you know except for he well, couldn't spit it out yes I take that tape off you're gonna be calm <laughs> 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 I got so much she pleasure out of that. Well, let me out of this nut coat in a minute. Now. Right now. I want out now! He said he was going to be calm. And he wasn't. Shut up. Now, you deserve to be punished for what you did to Dale. You accepted like a man. Or else we'll make you saw you ever born. We'll tell people how you pissed yourself like a fried little girl. Oh, yes, yeah. We will talk. We know people, too. Mm -hmm. Are you so foolish you don't realize that? May I be let out of this coat now? I doubt very highly he's learned any respect out of this. He's just hopefully gonna move on and be someone else's problem. What a twerp. Mm. Oh, John! Oh my god, oh my god, is he gonna give him the tumor? Give it to him. Give him the tumor. He was saving it. 
He was the reason John Coffey felt all that pain when Dell got killed. So I'm not surprised that he felt he deserved that. That squeaky shoe. <laughs> it's very consistent. What you looking at? <gasps> what the hell? You can't do that. Oh my god. It's a little messed up, but it's probably something he would have done anyway. John didn't know he was going to do that, did he? I punished them bad men. Punished he them certainly both. did. Why? I saw it in his heart. Oh. He, my he knew what Wild Bill I did. I saw what Wild Billy done. What did he do? You can't have what's in your heart. Is he going to show him? You see for yourself. Oh, <gasps> he can show him. <laughs> <gasps> Wild Bill killed the little girls. He's telling him he's innocent. Wild Bill killed the little girls. Not John Coffey. He's in the uh, psych hospital that he was applying to go work at. He got his transfer, just in a little bit of a different way. There's no way out of this for you, is there? No. I've done some things in my life that I'm not proud of. This is the first time I've ever felt real danger of hell. To execute an innocent man, he means. Talk to John. Because there's nothing he can do. Find out what he wants. Hello, boss. Hello, John. What do you say to a guy that's innocent that you have to execute? And both of you know the truth. You want to eat for dinner that night? <sighs> Meatloaf be nice. <laughs> Meatloaf. <laughs> That's nice. I have to ask you something very important now. I know what you're going to say. You don't have to say it. No, I do. I do have to say it. Tell me what you want me to do. You want me to take you out of here? Just let you run away? See how far you could get? John is so nice. When I stand before God and he asks me why did I kill one of his true miracles? What am I going to say? That it was my job. That's a very big internal God, dilemma. It was a kindness you done. Oh. He wants to die. He can feel can all feel of the evil in the whole world. Given him the gift of there must be something we can a way out for you, John. or peace with his decision. Ain't never 
see me a flick of show. <laughs> That's all he wants. Oh, and it's that I'm movie from the start. So that I can speak. No wonder it made him so upset. <laughs> He's absolutely delighted by it. He's such a good man. reassuring them this is so wrong oh my god oh, I don't even know there's lots of folks here hate me lots yeah I can feel it I feel how we feel that yeah we don't hate you no yeah focus kill on that class, John you, boys. <sighs> you won't kill a raping baby killer twice because they think he killed their baby, so I get it. I get why they would be yelling that, but I wish they could know how wrong they are. Wipe your face before you Yeah, don't let pain. them see you crying. John Coffey, you have been condemned to die in the electric chair by a jury of your peers, sentence imposed by a judge in good standing in this <sighs> This is awful. Do you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I can imagine I'm that... I'm sorry for what I am. John, I can imagine in like the 30s, a lot of people were executed who were innocent because they had very little science or ways to prove people's Don't guilt. Me to talk. Oh, he's afraid, afraid of the dark. To talk. Don't do it. All right, John. your body until you are dead in accordance with state law may God have mercy on your soul I feel you man They go through a ton of light bulbs in this movie. It was the last execution I ever took part in. I just couldn't do it anymore after that. It's brutal. I understand It's quite a story. It's quite a story. One thing I don't understand. The myth. Do you feel up to taking a walk? We dragged her up that giant hill. There. Wake up, old fella. Is it Mr. Jingles? JB. <sighs> oh, it's a super, super old mouse. So cute. Go on. You can do it. He took care of Mr. Jingles the whole time. I That's think so Mr. nice. Mr. Jingles happened by accident. I think a part of. Whatever magic was inside of John just slipped into my tiny friend here. <laughs> As for me, John had to give me a part of himself. A gift, the way he saw it. Oh. So that I could see for myself what wild Bill had Gave them both the gift a little bit. And that's when why John these two are living so long. He infected you with life? It's <laughs> a funny way to say it. <laughs> he infected us both, didn't he, Mr. Jangles? With life. With life. I'm 108 years old, Elaine. <gasps> wow. I'm the year that John Coffey walked the Green Mile. Oh, I've lived to see some amazing.
trees and things, Ellie. Wow. I've had to see my friends and loved ones die off through the years. And you will leave. You will die too. And my curse is knowing that I'll be there to see it. It's my atonement, you see, for letting John Coffey ride the lightning, for killing him, miracle of God. That's one way to so see it. It's his punishment. Oh, I'll die eventually, but I will have wished for death long before death finds me. I wish for it already. Hmm. Mr. Jenkins? It's drawn to him because they have the same gift. Where you been? Hmm? I lie in bed most nights thinking about it. And I think about all of us walking our own green mile, each hmm. in our own time. But one thought keeps me awake most nights. If he could make a mouse live so long, how much longer do I have? Good question. Oh, there are no exceptions. Jingles. Oh, he's the still alive. Mile seems so long. Maybe he's gonna die though. <sighs> wow. Okay, wow. That movie was a lot. <laughs> I really, really liked it. It was, uh, it was so different than what I thought it was going to be, actually. I really wasn't expecting it to sort of turn into a really emotional, existential movie. John Coffey, he was a real-life miracle, and he saved a lot of people, and he was a good guy, and it's actually just so sad that he had to die the way that he did, but I guess... He, he wanted it in the end anyway, because he was tormented his whole life by this miracle slash burden that he had, so... Oh man, it's just so emotional. He saved, he saved a lot of good people. I just, I don't even know what to think. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I thought that was a beautiful, beautiful movie, start to finish. I loved the story. The way that they started uh, with the main character as an old man and, and sort of worked back and he told his story and and then we realize that he's lived a long, long life and with the little mouse who was like awesome the whole time. And I cried a bunch just because, oh, I mostly cried when he healed uh, Melinda because that was just a really moving emotional moment, the connection that they had. And then of course when John had to die and the struggle of that decision just devastating. I loved that movie. I get why people love it. I would tell other people to watch it. It's really sad. It's really emotional. It's really intense. Uh, and it makes you just really, really think about how you feel. I tried really hard not to wipe away my tears, but uh, they were tickling my cheeks, so I did do it a couple of times. Um, so I failed that challenge, but that's okay. I was just less focused on that and more focused on, on this movie because it was so beautiful. So the, the take from that is I, I gained a lot watching that movie. I feel like it made me really think and kind of wrecked me a little bit. But yeah, I don't really know what to say. I think I'm gonna have to sit and think on this one for a little while. It was very, uh, it was very intense. I'm using all the same words to describe it, intense and emotional and moving, but it was. And I think that there are just a ton of messages in this movie that I wanna sort of think about and try to interpret it the way that is most meaningful to me. So maybe later on I'll decide what this, what this all meant. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this one with me. Uh, thank you again to Ray for suggesting this one. It was an awesome choice. I'm so glad that I watched it. And I will be watching your second selection as well on the channel uh, very shortly. So thank you again for this movie pick. And thank you everyone for watching with me. And I will see you guys next time.